Good evening. This is the dimension of unbelievability. It is an area which we call the Frauditor Zone. Today we discover a new Frauditor named East Coast Audit. His idol is Long Island Audit, so that will give you all the information you need about him and the direction his channel will be taking. For now, he's starting out like most other forwarders at the post office. Most other forwarders start off training at the post office, then gravitate to the library, and then graduate to move on to bigger and better things, such as government buildings. Some forwarders get confused and lost along the way and end up along sidewalks looking like a homeless forwarder begging for content. I suspect that this is the direction his channel will be taking as he's learning that forwarding today is nothing like forwarding in the old days. The victims are wiser, less patient, and armed with knowledge of things such as what a limited public forum is and how to trespass these fools. Such is the case today. Gone out the good old days of when Glenn Serio entered the post office and creeped everyone out and nobody could do a thing about it. When this forwarder walks into our post office, he is immediately greeted by customers that are all too happy to confront him. He is then told to leave by staff and finally removed by a no-nonsense officer that isn't afraid to tell him like it is. Make sure you watch until the end because this forwarder then goes to the police station where he gets a free education from a sergeant, but it's not the education he wanted so he leaves and dismisses everything he was told, encourages call flooding, and goes back a day later to try again. Welcome to a whole new breed of forwarders here in the Frauditor Zone. What's up everybody, uh, East Coast Audit here. We, today we are at the United States Post Office, East Liberty Station in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Yes, you, can't, you can't video in the post office. I'm sorry? Put your phone down. Why? You can't video in the post office. It's illegal. Why is it illegal? All right, turn the phone off, sir. I'll call the police. Why would you call the police? Because you're not allowed to video in the post office and you can't put me on your screen. What do you mean I can't? What are you talking about? This is a public building. <laughs> okay. How is it funded? Can you get your postmaster? Thank you. It's always a fire starter. Seems to be the employee or the employee this time. Hey, excuse me, sir. 
Yes, sir. You're not allowed to take most of the uh, pictures in a uh, federal facility, so I appreciate your cooperation. I'm, I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm doing a story on the post office, and then I'm doing my business, and then I'll be out of here. It's just policy. I understand that, sir, but I'm allowed to film in the post office. Okay. Do you want me to show you the rules on your wall? I already, I already know the rules. So well, obviously you don't, because they're posted right there. Okay, you don't have to. Go what? You should do your job. Yeah, he can go in front of me. I'm just Excuse waiting me, to get a stand. I really don't want to be on your camera, sir. You weren't on my camera until you started speaking. I know, but I'm still being filmed. My well, body and everything. You're being filmed because you're speaking no. to me. Please don't do that, sir. Will you please quit speaking to me? Uh, sir, I was asking you, can you go down that way? Go down that way? I'm standing here. I mean, it's like, I don't understand. I need to ask permission to film nobody. No such thing as permission in public. I thought it was no such thing as privacy in public. Is he trying to make actual change and update the Florida Dollar Handbook? Nah, he's just an idiot that can't follow the Florida Dollar Handbook. It's called the First Amendment, freedom of press, freedom of religion, freedom of speech. Speech, speech. All of them here is to buy a stamp. Right? That's what I say every day. Every day. So many sheep walking around anymore. No, you can go ahead. And no, me. you can leave my building. Thank you. I'm sorry? You can leave my building. Well, calm down. First no. Of all. Just no. settle down. No. Settle down. No. Settle down. Settle down. No. Who are you, by the way? I don't What's even know number? who you are. Sharon. 911. 911. Yeah. <laughs> wow, this is crazy, guys. You have sunglasses on. You have no. Nobody knows who you are and what you're doing. Go away. This is a. This is. This is a government property. You're not supposed to be he here filming anything. He dresses sixty three fifty Broad Street. I have a customer in her nine customer who's videotaping the post office and customers with sunglasses on and a, and a gator on his face, yeah. suspicious, and he's in there videotaping everybody. Yes, it's the post office. He's yeah, videotaping my customers while they're in here trying to conduct business with sunglasses on and he's video recording me with a gator on his face so you can't see him. You can't see him. You could see my whole face. He has sunglasses on too and he's video recording customers see my whole face. their own privacy. I don't even know who you are. You still haven't even identified yourself. Yeah. Oh, no, he's just in there because he's videotaping everything. So, of course, he's not going to be disorderly and put himself on glass. Are you learning something today? They're telling you I'm okay to film. 412. <laughs> Giving you an on emergency number, huh? They ain't going to come. And if they do, they're going to tell you. Oh, really? Is that what is going to happen? Well, sorry to do this, folks, but I'm going to have to move past more hard news journalism consisting of him walking around mumbling to the camera so we can find out if he's right. Hey, how you doing, officer? Just, um, I wanted to just let you know I'm recording. All I did was come in here to film my transaction, do a little story on the post office. That's all I'm doing. As soon as I walked in there, immediately was attacked by the employees. You can't do that, blah, 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 blah. Shut down everything, and I just stood there. And then she called you guys. And I got it all on film. So I didn't bother nobody. I wasn't. Except for people. Anybody. The only people I spoke to were the ones that spoke to me. When they spoke to me, then yes, the okay, camera which, was on which, them. Which, which lady did you speak to? Well, she left, and then the employees. Okay. Okay. She spoke to me. I didn't speak to her. All right, that's fine. We'll talk to her and get her side. Okay. My questions, what, do you, what, do you, what are we talking here? Um, basically, I'm just doing a story on the post office, and then I wanted to go in and buy a stamp, and they shut down the operation. They don't even know that the rules yeah. right there say that I can do this. Okay. 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 Oh, right here. Can, can you please come in here, sir? I mean, this is ridiculous. There's an officer in here. Yeah, <laughs> I don't 
There's no law against uncomfortable. I didn't say that there was. Okay. Well, you got to get you. There's cameras. When you leave your house, you're on camera probably a thousand times. I understand that. If we lose this right to film, I don't know you. Exactly. But if we lose this right, this is this is government. Okay, we have the right to film and get transparency between our government through the First Amendment. If you're here to buy a stamp, yes, that too. But I'm all. I'm an independent journalist here gathering content on a story as well as buying a stamp. I'm not even going to be done probably after I buy the stamp. That's your opinion. You can be upset about it. Sheriff, should we leave the line? Should, should we get out of the line? This is crazy. Reason why I came here is because, you know, to do a story, you know, I see they have 1.9 stars on 183 reviews. So I wanted to come to see how, I mean, and they immediately attacked me. It's on, not attacked me physically. Well, although I despise sticking up for forwarders, they probably gave his camera the stink eye. Now, according to the Florida the Handbook, that's considered assault. But as soon as I walked in that door, the second I walked in, the lady in there was like, you can't feel barking, 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 and then lit a fi forest fire that started everybody else getting upset. Come in and ask to speak to the person in charge and ask them. I'm here, I'm a journalist, whatever the hell you are. If they, yes. You say, may I film or am I allowed to film? Or can I film? Would you be upset? We're, you don't just come in and do it. Well, I understand. I understand where you're coming from. If they, first of all, I'm, I am allowed to film. But secondly, if they would have asked, I would have just told them. They just immediately just said, "You can't well, film. Get out of here and shut it down." They can't ask if they don't. I mean, they had no idea what you were here for. Where's the rules right here on I'm photography? Because you because you don't want to know that it says that I can do this. Well, it says I'm allowed to do this. And I came in here so peaceful. I was so quiet. Like a true forwarder, he's totally missing the point. I'm not even going to argue the post of seven crap. Let's say you're allowed to film. Does it make it right when you refuse to stop after people ask you to not film them? Maybe, just maybe. And I know this is going to be hard to hear for all the forwarders and lens lickers. But how about you think of someone other than yourself for a moment? Maybe a customer doesn't want to be filmed because they're hiding out from an abusive spouse and don't want to risk that spouse finding them. Maybe they just don't want their image landing in the dark alleys of the internet, otherwise known as your crappy YouTube video, where God only knows what will happen with it. The point here is that there has to be a line drawn between what you can do and what you should do. If you had any decency, you could film the floor to make your point about being allowed to film or shut off the camera and politely lead them to your leader, you know, that poster seven. There are ways to educate and stand up for your rights without being a total asshole. But that wouldn't get YouTube clicks and views, so carry on, douchebag. It looks like there's something down across the street. Yes, sir. All right, I just want you to go, man. Um, they said that you weren't actually like conducting any type of business. Well, the business that I'm conducting is two forms of business. I'm doing a story on this this, but this not, facility. I mean, it's a business though, yes, right? it is. I'm an independent journalist. Freedom of press, the First Amendment. Okay, I'm sure you can contact their manager. And that's right here. Uh, and you know, it says I can no, no, film no, no, no. here. I'll they're show saying, you. And they they have, they're saying you haven't reported. I haven't looked at it yet, but they're saying you walk up to the window while people are even out the window. No, 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 that's no. A whole as different... soon as I came in, I, I did a little bit of filming outside. Are you are you, are you a, you're an individual journalist? Just independent journalist, just myself. That's okay. all. Okay. Well, either way, they don't want you here on the property, which they can do. No, they cannot. This yes, is public. Can. This yes. is public property. It's, it's not open private. To the public. It's open to the public. You can they record, right but they can also. Yeah, you guys also hearing this? Okay. So now they're saying that. I cannot, so you're giving me a lawful order that says that I can't conduct business in here simply because I have a but camera. But your business is not business with this. Yes, it is. I told them in there several I'm times. I'm sure if you would have just asked one of them to speak with the I manager. I did. They attacked me as soon as I walked through the door. I didn't get a chance. 
Well, I mean, I think your whole approach is, is very sketchy. How is that? I, I was very polite. Like, I mean, like, you could just walk in and be like, hey, am I able to... The reason why I got sunglasses on is because I have super sensitive eyes because I've looked... it's real at... sunny out, but... No. That, that's not... Well, you don't know what's happened to my eyes in my past. You don't okay. know my personal history. I mean, I can see that you're trying to get a rise out of people. No, I was I not. I walked in peacefully. Any person would just walk in here and be like, hey, do you mind if I interview with you? I, just I wasn't interviewing nobody. Office. That's not what my goal is here. My goal I, is was I, to I do. I that feeling, yes. No, I, my goal yes. is, and you'll see it on film when you see this film. I came in and was filming the signs. I was talking about each poster. Sure, I, I have not given. That's not an, the issue with me. If you okay. film, and yes, it is a public place. People can walk in and out of here and film. But it, the rules say I can't. You've gone about this the right way, and now they are very uncomfortable. So I would just maybe go to another post office. And just approach it a little bit differently. I didn't, but I didn't do anything wrong. All I want to do is 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 well, do my transaction. They, they don't they don't feel that. But they them want to feeling want. uncomfortable. They said they would even. You want to buy a stamp or something? They would even um, entertain that. But they don't want to take any further interview or anything. No, nobody needs that. I wasn't here to interview nobody. But the, the only people that got interviewed was ones that spoke to me. Then the camera was pointed at them, and then we were engaged because they were talking to me. Okay. Well, if you want to still purchase something that's different otherwise yeah they want you off the property well i'm going to purchase something but then after that i just wanted to finish my story i mean i'm still doing a story on the post no, office they, yeah they don't want you to do that why do foreigners think that working on their stupid story makes them special first of all being a member of the press used to be a type of career something to be proud of now whenever i hear that someone is a member of the press i just automatically feel sick secondly not even real press members have special rights. If they walk into a building in which they are asked to leave, they just have to leave like everyone else. And they are professionals and they actually leave. They don't stomp their feet and whine like a little bitch until they get arrested. Lastly, no one gives a shit about your little fake story and police don't even have the authority to allow you to stay for your little fake story. As long as the postmaster wants you gone, you have to go. Seriously, do better. But that's not, they don't have they that don't feel, They don't feel comfortable with the way you approach it. I, I mean, I would just feel like that is just a, a reasonable thing to just maybe go to another one. So because they feel with. uncomfortable, I have to leave because of their uncomfortability. I could come in with a shirt that says you are an F, you know what, and then they I mean, could it's say. Just, it's a society. You know, you, you kind of work within uh, a, a norm of people. And if, if everybody but you is feeling some kind of way, you would feel like that's that that would be a normal approach to I could see it in a public business, but not in a federal building because no, the federal employees federal they work for us, the taxpayers. We pay the salary for this building to keep running. It's us. We own this building. You First of all, post offices are funded by their customers. Secondly, it doesn't matter because let's say you are right, and we, meaning everyone, own the post office. Do you not realize that most people do not want you to film in there and that most people don't want you to fight for the rights that they already have to the point where they will lose those rights? Forget about doing better. Just get the F out already. You guys own this building. They sell to us. They but are not the United States uh, government, period. They've already said yes, I know. It's a federal state. post office. I understand. So, they're asking you to leave their establishment, at least for today. But for what reason? Because they're uncomfortable with you being here. But I'm, I'm sorry, them. sir, but that's not enough reason to kick me out of a building because somebody's uncomfortable. And I, you sir, you're, you're a lieutenant or something. You have to understand. Anybody well, else would just from. be like, okay, I'll go. I do, I'm sorry that I made people feel this way. I'll go maybe to another one. But you're not, you're not willing to do that. Exactly. That is the difference between fraudators and people with morals who can empathize with others. Absolutely right. not. Not because yeah, of the okay, way so I was treated. I uh, want to get my stamp. Have call postal police and I guess we'll take care of this. And we could take police, care of it with him. Do. That's fine. I'm able to show up right now. Wow, this is yeah, crazy, man. Good. Over a stamp, dude. <sighs> you guys have seen this thousands of times, I know. Yes, we have. And that is why people like myself make these videos. We are so sick of it. We are sick of you abusing our rights for your crappy YouTube video. Oh, man. I will be nice enough and I'll wait for him right over here by this door. It's wild.
I mean, if I get a lawful order that I am trespassed from this building, then obviously I will definitely leave. But I have done nothing wrong to, to get that. Nothing. All right, man. I yes, spoke to my, um, my supervisor. Okay. And I am giving you a lawful order that you have to leave the premises. Okay. Can I get that in writing or formal trespass? I'm not, I mean, what do you want me to write? I want a formal trespass that I'm not allowed to come back to the building if I'm trespassing. I'll see if they have one. Yeah. Yeah. Formal tr thank one. you. All right. And then um, before you leave, either your name and badge numbers or your it's card. It's right on my chest, man. I'll let you know. Okay, thank you. Give me one second. Yep. All right. All right. We're back. All right. They do not have forms. I spoke with Postal Police themselves. Okay. They don't have forms. Okay. But you are being told now, and you're being filmed by multiple officers. Lawfully now. told, right? Yes. Okay, but correct. You have to leave this premises. Absolutely. That's law and everything. Oh, absolutely. And yes. you return. Okay. You'll get cited or arrested. Can I get your name and badge number? Officer Ropelt and uh, 4615. Okay. Can I get this lady's uh, name too? Because she's a public employee. Because I need it for the complaint. Because i got to file complaints against several people. Okay. Um, I um, need her name. I don't know if she's a supervisor or what. I mean, I, I, I don't think... And what's your name? You just butt it in? <laughs> okay. I need your name, ma'am. Can I get your name for the complaint? All right, man, you gotta go. I can't make her give you information. Okay, that's fine. No, 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 absolutely. So I'm lawfully, okay. Yep. So you saw that, guys. Yeah, you would have to take that. Lawfully trespass, and you got all these guys. We got their badge numbers. We got everything. We're good to go. Right, we're good. Okay. Good, you got it, guys. That's the uh, East Liberty Post Office. And the East Liberty Police Zone 5. The next day. What's up, everybody? It's East Coast Audit. Today I'm at the uh, City of Pittsburgh Bureau of Police Zone 5 District. I am here today to file my grievances for being unlawfully kicked out of the East Liberty Post Office for filming. That video um, will be linked below in the comments. Um, yeah, I was kicked out. I had a question too, really quick. Am I allowed back? That's a thing too, because I asked for a formal trespass and, yeah. and they wouldn't give that to me. And, and now I don't even know if I'm even allowed back in there. And I wanted to go back in there, continue my story, and then, you know, purchase my yeah. product and leave. But they, they, they kicked me out of there and I told, I told them, I said, if you give me a lawful order to leave, I'm going to leave. Yeah. And they did. And I left with no problems. And, you know, yeah. got right off the property. So the, um, the postmaster general of those locations has their discretion to decide like when recordings allowed and stuff. So that's in like their website. Um, they put that information up there. Um, so unfortunately, yeah, it's like not a, you know, the same as like a, like a pub, like a national park or some of those. Well, the thing is, is that they have number one, they have the rules posted there. Yeah. And then they also got an, a DHS memo in 2010 and then an unredacted version in 2018. And it was sent out to all post offices saying that, hey, people can come in, anybody that picks up a camera, automatically, me, you, or anybody that picks up a camera, automatically becomes a member of the press. Okay, so let's say that everyone is a member of the press. So what? That means that we have to all be treated like the press and the press have to make an appointment before they can do a story. They don't get special privileges. So, according to your own words, you have just acknowledged that you need to make an appointment if you want to do a story. I love it when these idiots mistakenly correct themselves. Yeah. So I became an independent journalist and I'm in there, all I was doing was peacefully doing a story. And as soon as I just, I, all I did was just open the door into the purchasing area. And I had my camera pointed this way and the counter was that yeah. way. And all I hear is, hey, 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 And then as soon as she started, customers started. And then there was a couple, couple customers that were, you know, and it was just like, oh yeah. my God. And then I just stood there and, you know, you, you know, it. It's just, you know, and they wouldn't want to, they didn't want to take the time to read their own rules. It was like they didn't even know. It says on there, photography is allowed for news purposes in corridors, lobbies, auditoriums, which they don't have, any other common areas. Yeah. And, you know, and they don't abide by that. And you'd be surprised when you see the videos of these. People go around and go to thousands of post offices around the country 
and 99.9% of the time they don't get kicked out because they're not allowed to. Yeah. It's very few that get kicked out, and it's usually because they cause a disturbance, and then some of them don't, you know, some of them do get just kicked out, but some cause a disturbance. I mean, yeah. I was trying to use peace. They, they have, like, kind of a weird catch-all where it's, like, the written in there where it's, like, if it's disturbing their process or whatever, their process of business, or if it's just causing a disturbance to the people, like the customers or whatever. So if they put it in that light, if they're presenting us with information, that's in that light, mm -hmm. then at which point that's when a defiant, like, an yeah. official order of, you know, being advised of, uh, like, being told to vacate basically can be given. Um, so they have those, like, kind of catch-all, you know, written in their things. And then they also have that catch-all kind of, like, at the discretion of the postmaster general. Yeah. Um, so in those instances, yeah, like, generally it's, like, a, by official order written or communicated through, like, an official, you know, government agent government or agents of that actual post office can give that lawful order um but yeah it's like that's that must be new information because I'm, I'm telling you people are still doing this and all the yeah. time like i went to the monroe office and as soon as i walked in they flipped out on me and as soon as the officer came he goes whoa 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 you guys he's allowed to do this yeah and he stood there until they made he made them buy let me buy a stamp that's all I call bullshit. An officer can't make anyone sell anything to anyone else. So let's check his video of the incident. Flashback. Good. I'm just here to purchase a stamp and these people are giving me a hard time because I'm in here filming. Okay. You guys. Yeah, for federal employees, I mean. Well, federal employee then. Yes, he's not, he is. Okay, that's fine. He's not getting waited on that. Okay. Okay. That's up to you. That's it going to be on your me. boss, but that's going to be... It is up to me, and I already told my boss. He is right here. I just forgot where it is. Anymore. Oh, 63. Three. So keep the change. Doing, they're worried about the addresses. There's a couple things, and you know, but yeah. I told them there's. And Best even if I did catch stamp. that on camera, I would edit that oh, out. Well, you know yeah. what I mean? But again, you don't know that. You could be recording out here and getting it. That's true. So the thing is just the government places, just like you said, it is public places, but it is a private. They have right to set standards. They could yeah. set no, they have policies no recording and all that. Inside. I get it. You know, you have that with government yes, officials. So, yes, yes, But I, I just told them to get you your stamp and get you out yep, of here. So gotcha. End of flashback. So where did the officer make anyone do anything? From what the camera showed, the officer went and talked to staff in the back. They came out and sold him his pitiful single stamp. And then outside, the officer educated him about their rights and then told him that he told the staff to just sell him the stamp to get him out of there. What that meant was that he told the staff that it was in their best interest to just sell him the stamp so he would leave. And the staff agreed. This is just proof about how cameras don't lie, but fraudsters do. So, um, you know, obviously I'll, I'll go ahead forward with the complaint. I, I mean, obviously I'm probably going to have to talk to a lawyer because, you know, there was so many things. It was just the way that they went about doing it. I just, I don't think was correct. Um, obviously I'm not a master in law, you know, neither one of us are, you know, the straight yeah. laws, but, <laughs> you know, so I don't know. Yeah. yeah. So I'll go ahead and do all, all this. All right. So that's the... So I'm Anything not, else to, well, so I'm not allowed back there. Is it permanent? How does that work? Um, so if, so to be ordered to, so to, to be permanently banned from an area, that would have to be through some type of writing or That's some type thought. of verbally. That's what I asked for. Yeah. And then they didn't provide no, that at he all. Went, he went back in and they were gone for like 20 minutes. They came back out and he goes, I couldn't get a formal complaint. We're just going to have to ask you to lawful leave. I said, okay. Okay. So yeah, so if they, yeah, I mean that's that's that needs to be 
something that's documented where they, especially because yeah. that is a, like that's an important government facility. Yeah. And uh, we're like crucial. Yeah. Like yeah. mail and stuff. So, so if I they, think they, 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 would, they would have to, like something would have to be in writing. Yeah. So if I was to walk back in there and literally film as long as I'm peaceful, I mean, I might have to go through this process again, but I wouldn't be technically re-trespassing yeah. by going in there, right? No, okay. and that's they said that... And I would be yeah, peaceful if I did. Yeah, because that would have to... It's not a... You can't be told once. And if it was never advised to you that you're never allowed back here yeah. again, if that was never advised, like if you're just, you know, told to leave for a day, that's still a public yeah. place where, you know, unless yeah. it's... You know, I can't written. remember if he said, like, you're banned from here. Now, does it matter the terminology he uses? Like, if he says you're banned from here for life, is that what that... Do I have to abide by that? Or it still has to be right, I would imagine. That would have to be... So it can be verbally communicated, but how that holds up, that would be something that would have to be litigated because that's not, you know, something that can just be... Yeah. Like, if you were to have your rights deprived of you from a something of verbal... Something that wasn't clearly communicated to you or clearly yeah. interpreted by but someone else also. where... Um, you know, that's something that could be litigated, but that's, uh, if they tried to raise that issue saying like, this person is on our, you know, list of defiant people yeah, or whatever, yeah, people that aren't allowed back in this yeah, place, yeah. then we would have, before we actually made an arrest, we would need proof of some sort of like, when was he advised of this? Is there a record? You know, was this received correctly? Okay. And then before any type of like detention or anything would occur, we would consult with a DA before like, yeah. anything like that. Would so I just want to make sure, like, if I did go in there, as long as I'm not fighting or cussing or yelling or screaming at people, I, w I wouldn't get arrested. I mean, yeah. I could possibly be asked you to leave. You may be asked to, yeah, we may have another interaction with us again, at which point, you know, we would have yeah. another conversation and. And um, I would obviously figure yeah. out what, what what they're saying, what you're saying, try and get both ends of the story. But it would basically just be like a whole new thing. Yeah, basically. but because that's, that's a public thing. place, you know, yeah, that so it's hard. People yeah. have a right to go to. It's not like a store where it's a private, private business. Private business, like your home yeah. or Walmart. I get it. Yeah, to, okay. be, to be permanently banned from a public place would require some sort of yeah, litigation and documentation. Yeah, it can't just Makes be sense. Um, sense. You've been crazy. Yeah. Oh, guys, you saw that and heard it. They are basically saying that they have a right to kick people out of post offices now. So, <laughs> I really don't know what else to say to that. It is what it is. Um, if you guys have any input down below on what this sergeant just said to me, I, you know, kind of tried to understand, but... It's kind of hard because I know we have a right to be there. So after all that, it's hard for him to understand because the officer wasn't agreeing with him. I don't know why it's so difficult for the Florida brain to not be able to comprehend. They asked him to stop filming. He refused, so they wanted him removed from the building, and they had every right to have him removed from the building. But being a typical Florida, he just doesn't get it. And then he goes back the next day in hopes that things have magically changed and he's suddenly right. Let's watch that now. Oh, but before we watch, here is what he posted on his description page about his visit with the sergeant. Can anyone say call flooding? Hey, what's up guys? East Coast Audit. I'm back here at the East Liberty Police Station. It's Wednesday, uh, I believe March 29th, 2023. This is a follow-up to my visit with the sergeant yesterday. I am here to try to get this trespassing basically thrown out, the verbal trespass, whatever it is they gave me. Who knows what that was. Um, but yeah, so I am back here as you see. And once I go inside and the sergeant or whoever, I will be back with you. See you soon. <laughs> Sorry to bother you again. I just literally had a couple questions. Yeah. Um, really, because uh, I, I know I, I, I asked you this yesterday, but I wasn't totally, completely clear. But am I allowed to go back there? If so, from what your recollection is, <laughs> how they communicated to you, um, you don't recall if they said 
You're never allowed back here. The way he said, he said it I, when I watched the end of the video was you're just, he just said, yep, you're just not allowed back here. He didn't say you're not allowed back here the rest of the day. You're not allowed yeah. back here until tomorrow. Or you're banned for life. He didn't use any of those he words. Sign any documents. Didn't sign any board. documents. And I'm not looking to go there right yeah. this second. Like I'm not even like looking to do that. Yeah. I'm just wondering if I'm allowed back in before I even try to, you know, even go forth with maybe like complaints that I might not even need to. Yeah, because um, even from the standpoint of even a, a private business, just with that threshold of like how they did that, that's on a very high threshold or a very good, like, because it's not documented, um, basically to my recollection, it's not documented anywhere that you were given any type of like, uh, trespass notice or that. Oh, and I asked so, for it. So um, if that hasn't happened, then yeah, like like I said it, before. See, I wanted practice. to show you this really quickly too. I mean, I don't know if, you know, it, it's hard to see, but this memo was sent out to all postal employees on August 24th, 2022. They go back and forth for quite a while. I'll spare you all that. But the sergeant does say the same thing that he said yesterday. He even goes over Poster 7 with the forwarder and educates him on it, as well as giving him a copy of it to take home as homework. Do you think this forwarder finally accepted the truth? Let's find out. Oh, the joys of being a new auditor. He gives me this, which is Poster 7, and as you guys just heard and saw, the way he explained all that, you know, I, 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 I could have engaged an argument you know against it obviously you know for obvious reasons because it does state you're allowed to he you know respectfully is wrong he is just such a nice sergeant i can't find it in me to be i guess you could say ignorant you know or anything because he he's nice i mean yeah no one believed he would anyway it's funny that he says that the officer is wrong but because the officer is so nice he can't find it in himself to be ignorant what does that even mean? Either way, he's being ignorant in just saying that. I give up. How long do you think it will take for him to get his first arrest? I'm guessing a week, but that might be too generous. What do you think? If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. It's now time to cool down from the Frauditor Zone. The link to the cool down video is right above and the link to my entire new cooldown channel is in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it and hit the like button. Good night.